Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel where you'll be notified of any new releases. And be sure to share this video with your co-workers and associates. And feel free to comment on this video or any other of the videos that, that are posted on the channel. I think there's 150, 200, 300, I don't know, there's a bunch of videos. Anyway, uh, today we're not going to be talking about the practical uh, safety, you know, uh, proper tie-offs, proper eye protection. We're not going to be talking about that kind of stuff. We're going to be talking about safety culture and how important a safety culture can be. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Safety culture within the construction industry is not just a buzzword. It's a vital aspect that can make or break a company. In an environment where hazards lurk around every corner, where a simple mistake can lead to catastrophic consequences, prioritizing safety isn't just an option, it's an imperative. Today, we'll delve into the significance of safety culture, focusing on its key attributes of being safe, timely, and efficient. We'll explore how these attributes aid in effective pre-planning and contribute to the development of strong organizational and leadership within a construction company. First and foremost, let's dissect what safety culture truly means. It's more than just adhering to regulations and ticking off boxes on a safety checklist. It's a mindset, a set of beliefs and values ingrained within every individual, from the top brass to the boots on the ground. It's about creating an environment where safety isn't seen as a burden or a hindrance to productivity, but as an integral part of the job. Now let's tackle the attribute of safety. Safety is the cornerstone of any successful construction project. Without it, everything else crumbles. A strong safety culture ensures that every worker understands the risk associated with their task and is equipped with the knowledge and tools to mitigate those risks. It means conducting a thorough risk assessment before work begins, identifying potential hazards and implementing controls to minimize or eliminate them. But safety isn't just about preventing accidents. It's also about fostering a culture of care and accountability. When workers know that their safety is a top priority, they're more likely to speak up about unsafe conditions or behaviors without fear of reprisal. This open communication is essential for identifying potential hazards before they escalate into incidents. Next, let's discuss the attribute of timeliness. In, in the construction industry, time is money. Delays can have a domino effect, causing ripple effects throughout the project timeline and budget. A safety culture that prioritizes timeliness recognizes that effective pre-planning is key to staying on schedule. Effective pre-planning involves identifying critical milestones, allocating resources accordingly, accordingly, and anticipating potential delays. By integrating safety consideration in the pre-planning process, companies can identify potential safety risks early on and develop strategies to address them proactively. This proactive approach not only helps prevent accidents, but also minimizes disruptions to the project schedule. Moreover, a timely response to safety concerns is crucial for maintaining momentum on the job site. Workers need to know that if they encounter a safety issue, it will be addressed promptly. This requires clear communication channels and a commitment from management to prioritize safety above all else. Finally, let's explore the attribute of efficiency. Efficiency is about doing things right the first time, minimizing waste, and maximizing productivity. A strong safety culture contributes to efficiency in several ways. 
Firstly, by preventing accidents and injuries, a safety culture reduces downtime and lost productivity. When workers are healthy and safe, they can focus on their task without the distraction of worrying about their safety. Secondly, by integrating safety into every aspect of the job, from planning to execution, companies can identify opportunities for process improvement and optimization. For example, implementing lean construction principles can help streamline workflow and eliminate waste, leading to greater efficiency and cost savings. Additionally, a safety culture that encourages innovation and continuous improvement fosters a culture of excellence within the organization. When workers are empowered to suggest safer, more efficient ways of doing things, it creates a sense of ownership and pride in their work. In conclusion, safety culture is not just a set of rules. It's a way of life within the construction industry. By prioritizing safety and embracing key attributes such as being safe, timely, and efficient, companies can not only protect their workers from harm, but also drive success and excellence in every aspect of their operations. Effective pre-planning plays a crucial role in this process, helping to identify and mitigate risk before they escalate. Ultimately, a strong safety culture fosters strong organizational and leadership development, ensuring that everyone, from the CEO to the newest hire, is committed to creating a safe and productive work environment. All right, boys and girls, that's that's what I that's my take on it, and uh, I've seen it in effect, where a a company has policies in place and. And, you know, you can have all kinds of policies, but if you don't have them implemented on a regular basis, developing that culture, encouraging your people, giving them the education they need, giving them the tools they need, and and and, and then offering, always being on site, always encouraging, always reinforcing the things that they've learned, you will develop a professional workforce that that, that that can oftentimes demand a premium on your services and uh, you will be uh, recognized and, and welcomed in the construction industry by by all the contractors. They'll be happy to have you on board to perform their work. Anyway, the safety culture, best thing to have. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate your time. Make sure you give me that thumbs up down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I release a new video. And please share, share this. If, if this is the kind of company you want to work for, share this with your upline. Share this with uh, your other co-workers and, 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 and start developing your own team in this way. Anyway, and uh, feel free to comment. Leave a comment down below if there's a video you'd like to see or for you'd like to make a comment on this video to create a conversation. Go ahead and feel free to make a comment. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits for today. As always, have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Boy, that was a long-winded thing.